Greetings to all you amazing and courageous individuals out there. Uh, my name is John Roman Qualls. I'm a clinical psychologist for HealthPoint. Today, I would like to talk to you about basic coping skills during stressful times in our lives. These are the basics uh, or building blocks of coping with stress. You can eventually add and or modify them to your liking with time. Stress impacts our bodies in a variety of ways, including but not limited to our thoughts, our body, social connection, nutrition, and spirituality. As a result, we have to be both creative and use a variety of tools to make sure we stay present with our lives during stressful times. Why don't we just get straight into the basics? Nutrition. Nutrition is very important. Food is essentially fuel for our body. If you mess around with fuel that goes into your car, it is likely not going to do very well and it's going to break down. So since you wouldn't put anything funny in your car, we want to be really mindful of what we put into our bodies during stressful times. With food, we want to be consistent, mindful, and consult professionals. Uh, make sure you don't skip meals. Eat balanced meals that include lean protein, vegetables, carbs, and please include fruits when possible. Um, the specifics of nutrition would be better discussed with a nutritionist or a professional, but please remember these are the basics of nutrition. Exercise is another important aspect of coping. When I say exercise, I want you all to understand I mean movement. Our body needs to move. Movement helps our body stay fit, our mood be consistent, our minds stay clear and active. If you don't have any physical limitations, it can be good to move our bodies with walks, runs, weightlifting, sports, and other activities. Uh, please consult your primary care provider or other professionals for any specific activities. If you have physical limitations, please consult with your care team to see what activities are safe and enjoy them in moderation, whether that be walking, or maybe some mild home exercises that are part of your treatment plan. Let's talk about social connection. As humans, we're just social beings. We want to be around people. We need social connections to help with stress. So that means seeing our family and friends is really important, especially during times like these. During stressful times, it is healthy for us to surround ourselves with company. Social connection is important for building, developing, and maintaining healthy relationships. So be courageous, reach out to your loved ones so you can have a talk, share a laugh or a cry, spread a smile or cheer, and discover support in any way possible. Now I want to move on to spirituality. Spirituality for some is an important task in their lives. It also can be a very essential tool for coping and stress. If spirituality is a key task in your life, I really want to encourage you to pray, meditate, read, and be amongst others in your community who share uh, your spiritual values, um, your religion, or your spirituality. And during these times, you can also seek guidance um, and share your stressors with leaders in your religious community. So these that I have mentioned are the building blocks of stress and coping. During these difficult times, some of these might have to be modified. You may need to call or Skype some of your friends and family. You may need to walk at a distance from others for the time being. You may want to pray, meditate from afar through virtual tools or phone calls. The important thing about a base is that you can be flexible with what you build on top of that. You can be as creative as you can, uh, but you have to make sure that you make plenty of mistakes so that you can learn and make your changes as you need and as you feel comfortable. Please take care. Stay safe.